So first of all, you can see the logic that I've created here. We have a start push button, a stop push button, and a system start. This is the output. So the way this is going to work is a operator of the machine or system would press the start push button. The system will start and latch itself on because this input is the output here, the same output, the same tag. And then this latches itself on, it's like a set. And then when the operator decides they want to stop the system, they will push this stop push button. Okay, so I'm going to use the simulator to show you how this works. Okay, so I've started the simulator. Now you can see down here I've got my input one, which is start, input two, which is stop, and I've got my Q1, which is the middle light bulb that you can see here. So as you can see now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start the system by pressing start push button. So you can see the system has started, Q1 is lit up. Ignore Q2 for the moment, that's to do with the uh, automatic sequence. So as you can see, Q1 has started, the system is running. It's being latched on by itself here. So the only way now to stop the system is by pressing the stop push button. So if I now press input two, which is the stop push button, you can see Q1 has gone off, the system has stopped and it is ready to be started again. So I can show you this again. So if I press the start push button, you can see Q1 is on, the system is running. It's latching itself on, so it stays running. And the only way to switch it off is to press the stop push button, which is input two. And press input two and the system has stopped. Q1 has gone, uh, gone dark. Okay, everyone. The next step is how to create a automatic stop sequence. So as you can see here, what's happening is we have, like before, a start push button. We have something that stops the system, which is this M1 memory bit contact. We have uh, another start system, Q2 output, that latches itself on. It also drives a timer. Now the timer will run for five seconds. And after five seconds, when the timer is true, because this is an on delay timer. So after five seconds, the timer output will become true. The timer output will become true and it will trigger our memory bit M1, which will stop the system automatically. So we will manually start it. The timer will expire after five seconds and trigger our memory bit, which will automatically stop our system. So what I'm going to do now is to press our first input for start push button. You can see Q2 is on. You can see our timer is counting three seconds, four seconds, five seconds. And now you can see Q2 has gone off. The system has stopped. Okay, it's a bit quick. Let me go through that again for you, run through that again for you. So what we'll do is we'll press the start push button. The system is latched. The timer is started. Once the timer expires, our system switches off. Q2 goes off. And that is how you create an automatic stop sequence in ladder logic. Bye bye.